Hello everyone and welcome to another speed build for Dreamlight Valley. This one is it's a it's a beefy build. Like I got a bit carried away. I did four builds at once. I made one its own little separate video, so all my schedules are messed up. But we have this one. It's gonna be like just a good chunk. I'll give a little peek, little peek, that chunk over there. <laughs> and let but since it's so much time and it's so big, let's go ahead and just get right into it. First off, I'm filling in the area where the park used to be. I planned to move Santa's chair here, but it gets moved slightly later on, so this mostly just helps me with getting more items set out. And I'm starting to figure out how I'm going to make something of a, like, a simple concept into a bigger thing. The presents give me a hard time and it's slow going, but we get there eventually. <laughs> I had the idea, which should have been obvious, honestly, to take like small present like objects and add them in to kind of fill out the area. So this is things like plushies, little wagon, and eventually I used a globe even as more of like a present for an adult maybe? <laughs> I'm thinking too much about it. Then I switch gears to making a flower shop, which I explain later my thought process, but I was inspired by another like winter market video where she used a lot of flowers and bright greens everywhere and somehow it translated in my head into like, oh yeah, flowers can look natural here in the winter, cool. Which yes, it looked great in her video, but I do think a full on flower shop is pushing it. Uh, pretend it's a greenhouse for me, okay?
I guess I really don't have much more to say about this build, honestly. Just a lot of flowers, mostly. <laughs> Here, I've got a little workstation going. Maybe this is where they pot the plants and trim them for bouquets or something. I don't know, I put workstations everywhere. Moving away from our uh, <clears throat> greenhouse, I put down some fences around Santa's throne and place a few more random items to fill out the spaces and all. I did not realize how massive that item was. I really want to find a place to use it now. It's ridiculous. <laughs> area for a minute, but honestly, I have no good ideas. So I move on to the other area I have no ideas for because that's what we call efficiency. In all seriousness though, I accomplish nothing and go back to fussing with the fountain anyways.
I do this little thing with the bushes, which I literally have the exact same thing in my plaza, but it just ended up clashing with the Christmas tree, which I kind of determined that was more important to have. So I do change this later. Sorry for jumping around so much. I was kind of losing steam and inspiration a bit, and sometimes moving back and forth like this will help me, which it kind of did. Instead of that fountain, I go ahead and just put another shop in that area. This ended up being like a cozy gift shop thing where like, you know, they're like super personal and personable and they like even wrap the presents for you and it's real cute and fancy, you know? to these freaking stalls. <laughs> I swear, these never stopped being like pure agony for me. Okay, that, that's a slight exaggeration, but I just had no idea what to do to make these more, you know, like more detailed or busy or something. And I won't kid myself, I never really did. I don't think it looked bad or that it ends up looking bad by any means, but I'm gonna have to count it as an L given how happy I was with everything else that I came up with in comparison.
this clock was kind of my last effort because I just truly love the item, so these stalls better feel freaking special, dang it. <laughs> But as I rummage through my items to no avail, we are actually done. All right, so we are all done and I'm ready to show you all around. Here's kind of a little overview. It is mostly this big section. I did a few touch up, so, um, you know, like you've got the little tables over there, but let's mostly look at these like bigger areas. First thing, we have the new and improved Santa's seating area, which is super cute. I love it. I'm so much happier with it than well, the little one before was cute, but it was super simple. And this is like a full thing. Like you've got so many toys, a whole sled, big Christmas tree. I look angry, but that's okay. <laughs> And I just, this is like what I was really imagining. It's much more grand and I'm so happy with it. It makes me happy. I can't say anything else really. Um, but there's not too much to like walk around in it. It is kind of just there. So then we have this, this, it's been a little bit updated, added this clock. I'm, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't want this like big empty space, but I don't think I really found a way to fill it, but that's all right. It's still cute and I like having the little stalls here. It's very convenient. Turning around, we have this little, little crafting something area. Okay, <laughs> let me explain myself. I think I did a little in the voiceover, but basically it's like, maybe you like hand paint a gift or you're just finding something. Like you've got the artist easel here. Like they're, they're these are like handmade gifts kind of thing and then you have the wrapping and the yarn and they use that to carefully wrap your very fragile stained glass lamp or, <laughs> or jewelry or whatever so I, I was thinking of it as like a gift making station but or something like that it's it's a little vague it's a little vague I'm not gonna lie I think ultimate I think I was running low on ideas to some extent I'm still happy with it and I think it makes sense this next one, after we pass like the new seating area, cute but simple, little change. Okay, flower shop in the Frosted Heights. My logic here was like, initially I wanted it to be like, uh, what are they called? The big red flowers for Christmas and like pine and stuff, but you, we don't have those in the game. <laughs> we don't have like mistletoe or whatever, so I just, it's just normal flowers, but imagine, imagine that it's like Christmas flowers, okay? <laughs> it doesn't make sense. I I have some regrets, but I think it's still like, it looks really good. I think it's very busy, a little workstation, like the little shopping area, and here's where they make the bouquets maybe. I think it's really cute and it's like, <laughs> it's pretty. <laughs> I don't know if it ended up making sense. It kind of sticks out, but I, you know, maybe someday I'll like move it to another biome, but I definitely want to keep it because it's too cute and I'm too happy with it. All right, but that really is it for this build. Like walking around it made it seem a lot smaller given how like, like there's not too much, it didn't take too much time to like go and look at it. So it makes it feel smaller, but it was a lot. It took a lot of time and effort. And I think it's super cute. I'm really happy with it. I'm content. And this is the end. This is the end of, let's get out of that. This is the end of my decorating of the Frosted Heights. So next video, looking like it's gonna be Christmas day, is just gonna be a real quick, short tour, going through everything and like walking through and just seeing what what happened, what I did over a month. It was really nice to have this kind of like deadline because it kind of pushed me to play more and really like put my mind to it so i hope you guys are looking forward to seeing that and seeing everything all come together but that is it for today and i hope to see you all next time